At a press conference held at the Renaissance Electronics Naka factory on June 10, 2011, Renaissance President Yasushi Akao expressed his sincere gratitude for all who assisted in the recovery effort. On March 11, 2011, three months prior to the press conference, a magnitude 9.0 earthquake struck eastern Japan. The world's leading microcontroller manufacturer, Renaissance, was forced to interrupt production at eight of its 21 domestic sites. The Naka factory, the main site for manufacturing MCUs and system-on-chip products, was closest to the epicenter and was heavily damaged. The basic infrastructure, including electricity, gas and water, was cut off, and damage to the roof of the clean rooms allowed unpurified air to flow into the facility. To seal this leak, employees rushed to carry sandbags to the roof and cover it with plastic sheets. The 200 mm and 300 mm wafer fabrication lines were damaged extensively, and much of the manufacturing equipment inside the clean room became inoperable. Although time for semiconductor production varies for each product, it takes around three months from the point of wafer input up to product delivery to customers. The front-end wafer fabrication process requires around two months, and assembly and quality testing takes another month. Due to the long manufacturing timeline for semiconductors, the damage to the Naka factory has a big impact on Renaissance's production and supply. We went into the clean room after safety was confirmed. We were surprised by the extent of the damage. My first impression was that it would take at least six months to restore it. As most of the 1,600 pieces of manufacturing equipment in the 200 mm and 300 mm lines was damaged, we had a very hard time developing the restoration plans. With customers around the world growing worried about the lack of supply of automotive and general purpose MCUs, swift restoration and recovery of production was necessary. To restart production and to achieve a stable supply, repair work was conducted 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Employees were encouraged by the slogan on this sign, show Renaissance's inner strength and unite our hearts to restart production in June Customers worldwide are waiting for Renaissance's recovery. With support from 80,000 people worldwide, the miraculous recovery of the Naka factory began. Customers, including automotive and electronics manufacturers, construction firms, semiconductor equipment makers, and even competitors gathered at the Naka factory for the restoration effort. On any given day, as many as 2,500 support workers gathered at one time to help. Support workers may have been competitors, but we came together in a team effort, as one, to achieve accelerated resumption of production. The OBEA method was utilized and teams met twice a day to review progress. The extensive visualization of process and progress helped the teams to be successful. It was very effective to visualize the overall process and share issues that we had. We put large pieces of paper on the wall and wrote the progressions for each section two times a day, in the morning and in the afternoon. If there was something that was falling behind, we identified the issue and found solutions for them. By putting the process on the wall, everyone was able to see their status of progress objectively. Through this, they could identify delays and consider how to rectify the situation by receiving support from others around them. By thoroughly sharing information, a healthy competition occurred between teams. They avoided becoming the bottleneck, not to be outdone by other engineers or teams. Each team was able to improve their progress and accelerate their timeline several times over the course of the restoration. The restoration of machinery requiring nano-level accuracy was a difficult procedure. The efforts of each team and the coordination between them 
enabled this complex work to be done more quickly than anyone could imagine. On April 23rd, the first test lot of the 200 mm line Kizuna, which means spiritual bond in Japanese, began production. Two days later, on April 25th, the test run on the Gaia of the 300 mm line was initiated. By the end of May, the testing procedure confirmed pre-earthquake levels of quality and reliability on both the 200 mm and 300 mm lines. Shortly after the earthquake, Renaissance estimated the resumption of production might be possible by September 1st. The support the company received and the various efforts led to the acceleration of this timeline and production resumed in June, three months earlier than expected. While the Naka plant was being repaired, Renaissance utilized its FAB network to provide alternate production facilities at the Sugaro and Saijo sites and at a foundry in Singapore. The FAB network is a system that enables production of a single product at alternate sites within the Renaissance group and at external semiconductor foundries. It is a part of Renaissance's business strategy to adapt and respond with flexibility to changes in demand and unexpected situations. To stabilize supply, we were able to utilize the FAB network for 60% of the products made at the Naka factory and conduct alternate production. By combining alternate production, the 100% level of supply to customers was made two months earlier than initially planned. The overall Renaissance production capacity that had dropped to 50% after the earthquake recovered to 85% by June. By combining production at Naka with alternate production, pre-earthquake supply levels are expected by the end of September, a month earlier than the previous expectation. Our way of paying back our customers is to resume function as quickly as possible and become a further reliable factory. I had never cried at work, but when I saw the first finished product after the earthquake, I felt the tears building up in my eyes. This happiness became my confidence that we can actually make better products than ever before. We will develop a system that assures stable supply for a new renaissance and build a relationship of trust with our customers. Renaissance says thank you for all the help it received to achieve resumption of operation. Now, the new renaissance begins.